thanks for joining us on this midweek catch-up. Um, first of all, let's look back at Saturday's game um, against Inverness. How did you view the 90 minutes overall? Was it a good point gained or do you feel we, we could have picked up all three in the end? I think um, we could have picked up all three in the end. Um, I think apart from Inverness's um, chance in the first half, I thought we limited them. And towards the end, we had a couple of good chances. So um, I think we maybe deserved a win, but um, just the way things are going now, it's not coming. But I thought on Saturday it was a better performance and, and a good sign. How important is it, not just for the confidence going forward, but just a foundation to build on as well for that first clean sheet of the season and, and any competition? That must have been a real weight off the shoulders of not just yourself, but your teammates. Yeah, exactly. I think there has to be a big in, emphasis on that and, and not conceding goals. Um, I think in all the previous games, I think we've... Um, Conceded goals far too easily. Um, so yeah, on Saturday it was it's something to build on. Um, just need to look at trying to put the ball in the back of the net more often. In terms of your role in that defensive um, shape, you've obviously played in the uh, in the centre back position of a back three, the right wing back position of the back three, and then right back in your more traditional back four there on Saturday. Is there any major differences that you feel maybe that that maybe helped to, to get the, the clean sheet on Saturday in terms of moving back to the back four or do the tactical and formational differences um, not really matter when you go across the white line? Um, I, I think they do matter in terms of um, if you're playing in that wing back position, I think there's more emphasis on you being the width and putting deliveries and stuff into the box. Um, and then obviously when you're in the back three, you obviously need to defend better and have better distribution of the ball. So um, I think on Saturday, I think the like, just standard right back suits me best. But um, whatever I'm asked to play, I'll, I'll happily do it. In terms of this Saturday against Tamil and another home game, as we touched on there, a foundation to build on from the point that we gained last weekend. Um, time to score our first home week of the season and, and get our first home week win of the season as well. Yeah, it's, it's a massive game on, on Saturday. Um, I think going into it, um, I think well, both teams could probably do with a win, but um, looking at us um, to go and try and get a clean sheet and, and score goals, that's that's going to be them. Um, expecting a tough game. Uh, they've got a lot of season pros and a lot of youngsters as well, so expecting a tough game. We know with a victory we could move up off of bottom spot and give us that real bit of momentum heading into the, the rearranged Fife Derby as well that would, again, give us that chance to catch up on all the teams around us. So there's a lot of motivation for the next couple of games over the next week or so. Yeah, definitely. We're, we're certainly not down and out. Um, there's a long way to go in the season. And I think getting that first win is going to be massive. Um, and obviously, it would be ideal if we could get that on Saturday going into um, the game against Rovers midweek. The fans are obviously playing a crucial role in terms of trying to get behind the team. They did that for 90 minutes on Saturday. How, how great was it just to hear the, the clapping and, and the cheering at the end? Um, and and how, how much does that make you all want to go in and, and get that this Saturday again? Yeah, definitely. It was um, unbelievable, especially the sort of form we've been in for them to get behind us was was great and it really did help. Um, I think negativity in those sort of situations don't help. Um, so it was great to see the fans fully behind us. And um, I thought the boys on Saturday put in a more Dunfermline-like performance. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we can give them more to shout about sort of in the coming weeks.